hello everyone hope you're all right in today's video i'm going to show you how i do lazy compositing so i have got this compost bin which i bought in september and it has 300 liter capacity it is like two feet wide and two feet deep and it is three feet high so it is quite good dimensions and it has holes on each side for the airflow and it has a door at the front which you can open to harvest your compost so this is really nice sized compost bin and it is made of durable plastic so i have filled it to the top and i started filling it in september and now it's nearly the end of november and you can see it is already nice and full so i have filled it with garden clippings garden trimmings kitchen waste which is basically uncooked food vegetable scraps and fruit scraps and basically the dried up leaves and everything that comes out of my garden all the garden waste kitchen waste basically you don't want to put anything in it which is cooked or has oil dairy in it or spices in it so you don't want to put that in it you can put the raw materials in it and i have put the tissue roll cases cardboard uh, shredded paper so you want to put all this uh, things in it in small pieces as small as possible to speed up the process of compositing but as i am doing lazy compositing which basically means doing less and less work so i'm not going to bother that much shredding and cutting all these things so i'm just putting them in there and i basically keep it moist so i put the water in it keep it moist i have put some soil in it some used compost like I grow plants in containers and when they are done blooming they are done their season i throw all of the compost and the plants in it so it has used compost some soil water uh, green materials and brown materials so all these things are needed for a good compost and the worms which come out of my garden i throw them in there and you can close the lid and it gets locked so i'm going to leave it for some time and then i'll show you the results So it's been quite a few months and it is nearly the end of May and I need to harvest some compost. So I'm going to open this compost bin and see what can I get from it. So as you can see, I have still been filling it with green materials and brown materials that come out of my garden, my house. So all that kitchen waste and garden waste goes in there. So as I said before, you don't want to put any dairy, fat, bones, meat, cooked food salts and spices in your compost bin so what is exactly lazy compositing so they are basically different types of compositing and lazy compositing is where you put minimal effort in filling your compost bin and basically the worms and microbes do the job for you so here i have opened my compost bin and as you can see all the materials down there have been decomposited it is a nice thick layer of compost so i'm going to harvest the compost uh, to see how much i can get and if there are any big pieces or lumps in it i can throw them back in the compost bin and i can screen the compost if i want fine compost so you can use a sieve garden sieve to sieve your compost and basically that will separate the big lumps out of it which you can put back in the compost bin and you can take the fine compost out of your compost bin here you can see some slugs around it which is fine they also help in composting so i'm just going to remove them and throw them in the soapy water and basically um, this is quite packed in there so it will take some effort to break it and it, it looks quite nice it smells nice basically earthy smell which tells you that your compost is nice and done I have also got a video on hot compositing which is basically you keep actively turning your compost pile to aerate it and then it gets heated up and breaks down very quickly so if you want to know more about hot compositing or fast compositing i will include the link in the description box so you can check that video out as well 
so i got this compost pen in september and first time i filled it to the top in november then i left it for a few weeks and it kept reducing in size so i kept adding more and more garden and kitchen waste so basically uh, in lazy composting you keep adding things um, in your compost bin and you don't turn it much you can turn it if you want to speed up the process but in lazy compositing you want to invest minimal effort in filling your compost and basically i can see lots and lots of worms here so to start with i added a handful of worms which i got from my garden in this compost bin but now this compost is loaded with worms basically they multiply and worms also find the food for them and you can see this is really nicely broken down compost so i'm going to harvest as much compost as possible I'm not going to bother to sieve it because I need to fill some big containers so I will use this compost to fill the bottom of my big containers and basically I will throw any big lumps and worms back in the compost but if I see any slugs and snails I will remove them. So as you can see i have harvested a good amount of compost from there and there's still plenty in there which is quite packed in there and basically it takes good amount of effort to break it and harvest it from there so uh, this compost bin has a small door small opening from where you can harvest your compost sometimes people just take the whole compost bin out and basically they turn the pile and harvest uh, the compost which is broken down so they sieve it and put the other unbroken pieces back in the compost bin you can do that way as well and here it is a garden sieve which you can use to sieve your compost i don't need to sieve it and it is quite moist so it's basically uh, lumpy so if you want to uh, sieve it it's good idea to leave it for a couple of days so it dries out a little bit and then it will be easier to sieve so I have managed to harvest 40 to 50 liters of compost from this compost bin and I'm going to loosen the rest of the pile a little bit so it can aerate under there and basically I'm going to turn it a little bit under there and going to close it again. So it took me like 6 to 8 months to harvest that much compost and basically I just kept filling it and didn't do anything else. So if I had been turning it actively like once a week, it would have taken much less amount to get this composed like uh, six to eight weeks maybe. And because it has been like um, there since November to May, most of them are cold months. So in winter, the compositing is slow anyway. And the good thing is there are plenty and plenty of worms in there. So it's like a wormy compost. I can see hundreds thousands of worms in there small worms big worms and when harvesting my compost i tried to put all the big worms back in the compost bin so i'm quite happy with the amount of harvest i have here and this is homemade compost i know what i have been putting in here and i can't describe the feeling of contentment and happiness which you get when you harvest your own homemade compost I still buy loads of compost to do my gardening but this gives me so much happiness that I can make my own compost as well and this is nice and 
nutritious compost which i can use to feed my plants i can use it as a mulch in my garden i can use to fill in containers and there are loads of recipes available where you can mix your compost with perlite vermiculite sand garden soil peat to make a nice potting mix so i think it is really rewarding to make your own compost and if you haven't tried it before i would highly recommend to give it a try i hope you find this video useful and informative please subscribe to my channel for more gardening videos and press the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of my gardening videos you can also join my channel for extra perks thank you very much for watching today I'll see you next time bye